show you how you can code a job. You'll note now under the data tab, there's a button called groups. Okay, so if you're clicking on this groups button on the ribbon, it brings up those group mapping entries. So for this particular estimate, we might want to get a breakdown by blocks for quantity, and we may want to get a breakdown by cost codes, or we might want to set up trade packages for our subcontractors. So I'll tick both those options on and click OK. And you'll see now it's added those columns to the estimate sheet. And if I right click and expand all here, you see these columns are, are throughout the estimate sheet. And because this block column was set up as a Q group coding, we also have a block column down in our calculation sheet. And because our cost code was a R group coding, we have the cost code in the uh, estimate sheet as well as our rate sheet. So what we can now do is go through and code our estimate. So if I double click in the cost code column, it'll bring up a list of all those entries that I was showing you through before. So this is a concrete item, so I might scroll down and find uh, that that's concrete supply. That's a 210 code. So what I can do is either double click on the 210, or I can highlight it and press enter, and that transfers that code in against that item. We can just type directly into the code columns, and if you do that, it'll bring up uh, a reduced criteria for the code that, that you're looking for. So we might, me just typing in two will bring up all of the codes that have a two in them. But because I go 210, it finds the one that I need. I can press enter to drop that in. Now we also have a composite rate here. So if I highlight my composite rate, you can see I can also code down at the rate breakup sheet level. Because this is, as I mentioned earlier, an R group code. So once again, I can either type in my code. In this case, I may not know what the labour code is. So I'll start with a two. You can see I found concrete labour there, which is a 220. So I can continue to type in 220 or select it, double click, press enter. You can see that transfers that code in. Now you can continue to go through the entire estimate and code uh, at the item sheet level and the rate sheet level or the blocks down in the calc sheet level. And then we can go back and do a job analysis or, or a sort on this information.